Rolling. We're working out. Okay. <laughs> All right, three, two. Growing up, I never fit in. I was outcast by most of the people that surrounded me. In elementary school, I'd pee my pants from laughing too hard at lunch table jokes. Laughter and pointing fingers from fellow classmates would haunt me as I stepped out of line to go to the nurse's office for a new pair of pants to wear. I was never cool enough to hang around the sports kids. I was never smart enough to try out for the geography bee. But I still tried to be friends with those people. I was always picked last for stickball games and neighborhood kids played at Timberland Park across the street. In middle school dances, I was always more worried about whether I'd be able to play on a dodgeball team in a tournament than if a girl would dance with me. I'd go to sleepovers at friends' houses, and my main concern was how I'd be able to dispose of my wet pull-up the next morning, not having fun and staying up late playing video games and telling scary stories. By the time high school came around, I broke out of my shell a little bit, but I still didn't feel like I fully fit. One week, I'd sit at the jocks' table, but I would twiddle my spork more than I spoke. The next week, I'd sit at the table with the people who wore headphones the whole time while they ate, but I didn't have headphones. I never really knew who I was, and I thought I could find myself in other people by listening to what they said about me, but none of it ever made sense. So in the 10th grade, I started writing, after I took a creative writing class and discovered poetry. Everything changed. Not the way my peers treated me, because writing and poetry didn't get others to notice me, it got me to notice me, and see pieces of myself more clearly. I stepped foot on a road that would lead me to endless possibilities, and instead of letting my peers speak for me, I started speaking for myself. I pulled my book off the shelf and started writing in it. Line after line, no co-authors, I let my own ink shine. With, I'd fill one page and turn to the next with no idea what to expect, but now I have enough confidence and self-respect. I've learned to embrace that I will never fit in, but I can definitely fit out. And carve my own route like a woodworker. My past is behind me, but it's defined and refined me, and I can't look past it. I've been a black sheep this whole time. I just needed to look deep inside me to find it. Thank you.